so it's been over a week since i last uploaded and i just want to apologize because i've been moving recently and actually funny enough i am actually in the new place right now and i just wanted to say i'm sorry because i was moving but we're back on the grind we're back on the videos and to make it up to you guys today's story is one of the most bizarre but yet craziest stories i'm about to tell but before we get into it make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already seriously it means a lot when you guys do and it seriously changes my life every time you click that subscribe button so please click it just just do it so other than that let's just jump straight into this yo what is going on you guys my name is Bubba and welcome back to a really insane story so today's story all takes place back in my grade 7 year now when I was in grade 7 I was just an ordinary boy I'm not gonna lie to you yes I was really intrigued by women but in a way I never really cared about them because the main thing that I was only concerned about back when I was in grade 7 was Call of Duty and well making sure my stomach was full I mostly ate mac and cheese and grilled cheese sandwiches and well anything with cheese really because I I was just that gamer but on top of that i remember one time my parents came into my room and told me that they were gonna go on vacation they told me bubba we're planning on going for a trip for a bit and we're gonna be gone for like only one night is that okay yeah mom I'm, that's totally cool i understand is what i told her and my mom was basically telling me how she just wanted a quick little vacation with my dad and having a good time to be honest to this day my parents still do this and i think it's a good time for them to catch up and you know stay together but the one thing that she forgot to tell me was that the next day when i woke up thinking that i was just gonna be home alone playing video games i heard my door knock and i answered it when i answered it i remember answering it to some high school girl that to be honest i really had no idea who she was she was around 17 years old and she was some asian girl that was well i guess just some nice genuine girl i don't know now me thinking that she was at the wrong house i remember i told her are you looking for someone uh yeah i'm here to babysit and when she said the word babysit you already know i was more upset than ever i was so angry to the point where i remember i ended up grabbing this girl by the hand and dragging her to my parents saying there is no way you got me a babysitter for one night only one night like really my mom told me that she didn't want to leave me alone and i don't blame her it is what it is my family wanted to make sure i was safe and in any way they didn't want me to be in any danger so i remember at this point i was kind of annoyed but honestly i had no choice it was my parents and they were the bosses no matter what now this is the part of the story where things get a little awkward because i remember as my parents left and ended up packing their bags and leaving i was in the living room sitting down while watching TV. I was watching some YouTube on my TV because why not? My parents weren't home and it's not like they were going to stop me. So I remember as I was watching Jacksepticeye play Happy Wheels, out of nowhere, I remember I see my babysitter come into the living room and sit right beside me. She sits right beside me, but not like the other side of the couch. She literally sits right beside me, meaning that she could put her arm literally around me if she wanted to. Now, obviously I felt uncomfortable, but I guess, you know, out of all the spots, she just wanted to sit beside me, which I don't blame her because I did smell really good as a kid. Even to this day i still smell really good honestly um axe body spray sponsor me i guess i never mind going on with the story though i remember when i was sitting down watching the tv she ended up looking towards me and she actually ended up putting her hand on my thigh out of nowhere now i thought this was really odd and i thought she was gonna ask me a question but when she put her hand on my thigh she just left it there now i thought this was really weird and i started to feel uncomfortable to the point where i kind of just ended up deciding on if i really still want to be right there and i ended up basically getting up out of nowhere saying i'm just gonna go upstairs and play some video games she ended up saying oh okay yeah that's that's cool and i ended up going upstairs i went upstairs i sat at my desk and i ended up just playing video games for a decent amount of time but 10 minutes later when i was in the middle of a call of duty match funny enough she ended up coming into my room with a kitchen chair not any normal chair a kitchen chair now i looked at her really bizarre and i'm like wait a minute and she put the chair right beside me and she put her hand on my thigh and started watching me play call of duty to the point where i was like um okay i'm kind of hungry can you go make me like a sandwich or something now I know it's really rude to tell a woman to make me a sandwich but at this point i wasn't doing it just because she was a woman i just felt really uncomfortable to the point where i remember she ended up getting up going downstairs and she actually made me a grilled cheese sandwich but instead of bringing it up to my room she ended up calling me downstairs and knowing i didn't want to get in trouble i ended up turning off my tv and my xbox and going downstairs when i went downstairs i remember i saw her sitting at the kitchen table and i sat down across from her and i started eating my sandwich but when i took one bite out of my sandwich i remember she ended up standing up and going around the table sitting right beside me and what does she do the same thing where she puts her hand on my thigh now at this point ladies and gentlemen i was really uncomfortable i was like okay no like just 
no. Like, what is going on here? I felt so weird and so grossed out because not only was this girl super weird, but she smelled like sushi or should I mention raw fish? Like, she literally smelled like raw fish. And I'm not trying to say that in any racist terms or, or trying to be mean in any way. She just smelled really weird to the point where I remember I ended up getting back up and I ended up basically saying, um, you know, it is kind of, uh, you know, I guess getting late i i think i'm gonna go to bed she ended up saying oh like do you want me to tuck you in come on bro like i was in grade seven so obviously i said no and i went upstairs when i went upstairs i remember i just ended up going on my phone and i ended up just watching youtube videos and just tried to pass out yes i was an ipad kid so in a way i guess like you know for me to pass out easier i guess watching like youtube videos or a movie just helps me sleep and even to this day i'm still the same way and as i was sitting down watching youtube videos out of nowhere and i'm not joking when i say this it was like 1 30 at night this girl ends up checking in on me in my room now obviously as a babysitter it's normal to check in on you know the kid you're watching at least that's what i feel but the way this girl checks in on me was really weird but she would walk up to my bed put her hand going down my spine as if she was trying to feel if i had like spinal cancer or something and she says have a good night cutie and she ends up leaving my room now at that point i was like okay like just just no is she crazy is she insane is she psycho I, I didn't know what was going on. At this point, I felt so weird and so uncomfortable where I just didn't want to be there anymore. Now, me thinking that was the end of it and I was going to be able to sleep throughout the night and wake up the next day being happy. I remember in the middle of the night around 2.30 when I was basically almost passed out. And I say almost because I was still watching some YouTube videos. And I remember around 2 a.m., I ended up hearing some noises coming down the hallway. And I knew that it was my babysitter coming in to check on me again. And to make sure I didn't get in trouble, I remember I turned off my phone, swiped it under my pillow and pretended to sleep and what this babysitter did i think was extremely illegal where she ends up coming into my room coming towards my bed but instead of touching me she ends up going into my bed sheets and laying down beside me but not laying down beside me like normally she ends up actually big spooning me as if we were like an old married couple i didn't know what to do i didn't know what to say and i'm just laying there as if i was a dead body like i didn't know if i should move i didn't know if i should do anything what i decided to do at that moment was pretend that i was woke up randomly in shock i woke up going wait what what are you doing here and she looks over at me saying oh sorry like i got really lonely and like i don't know like you look so peaceful and i just wanted to lay down beside you bro are you good like are, are you tripping dude like i don't know what was wrong with this girl i don't know what was going on but i felt so uncomfortable to the point where i said okay well just don't get so close and i ended up basically laying down and trying to sleep even though i felt this girl's whole body against mine now me thinking that this was it you know this was it she just wants to cuddle and sleep i thought that was going to be the most of it boy was i wrong because i remember around 3 a.m my room was boiling hot with her being right beside me and i'm wearing my full-on pajamas by the way so i'm boiling in my long sleeve pajamas just dying and praying that this girl would just get up and leave my bed because i was like in a single bed i wasn't in like a twin bed or a double bed like i was in a single bed what this girl decides to do was the most craziest thing at 3 a.m where she got up out of nowhere and me having the sigh of relief going oh thank god she's leaving she ends up saying oh it's getting really hot in here and ends up taking off her shirt she took off her shirt took off her pants and went right back into bed with me now at this point i didn't know what was worse her not wearing anything or her literally and i mean literally smelling even worse than she did before at this moment i decided to do the manly thing and try to avoid thinking about her and basically just pretend that god would come down and smite me and pass me out what ended up happening was even more awkward to the point where i remember she ended up getting really close to my body and me being in grade seven well that's when my puberty was heightening to the extremist degree if that makes any sense and let's just say i ended up getting bricked out of nowhere instead of passing me out i guess god decided to arise something else and let's just say she noticed i was bricked and she said do you want me to help you with that and well this is where things get really awkward because i was in grade seven and this girl was like what 17 and what i decided to do was look at her saying if i'm gonna be honest i have to go to the bathroom so i got up i went to the bathroom and i passed out in my bathtub what you thought i was gonna say we did the do 
Devil's Tango. Bro, I was in grade seven. So obviously, I ended up basically passing out of my bathtub and just sleeping in there until the next morning. I remember the next day, I ended up passing out till like 11.30 a.m. And when I woke up, I ended up walking around my house seeing that my babysitter was gone. And I didn't know what was going on seeing that no one was in the house. But when I exited my house and I went outside to see who was at the front door, let's just say there were a ton of cops, my parents freaking out, and my babysitter being in massive trouble by her parents. Apparently, they thought I was missing when in reality, I was passed out in my bathtub being bricked. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's really insane story. But before anything, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And like I always say, fall for embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.